This is the vertical double, also known as the P80. It follows that same basic footprint, 12 and a half by 12 and a half, it's gonna, which is going to give you two pockets that are six and a quarter by 12 and a half. Actually, a little shy of six and a quarter because you have this seam down the middle. This page is so useful for so many things. You know when you go to buy um, scrapbook supplies, you're going to find a lot of items that are, in fact, 6 by 12, which is perfect for, the, for this pocket. I've got, these are chipboard alphabets in here. I've got three sets of puffy alphabets, so really common, those stickers that kind of puff up. You can put multiple things in each pocket, and I'm going to show you more about that in just a minute. But this is a great page for storing heavy thing, chipboard things, big things, like these giant alphabets. It's great for storing things that are bulky, even if they're a little bit short. So I've got three, two sheets of chipboard in each one of these pockets. They're crystal clear, so I can see on both sides. And they just drop down a little bit, but you can easily reach into that pocket because of the big opening and pull out those chipboard sheets. Easy to store things by category. Here's the $50,000 question, or is it the $60,000 question? I don't know. How many things can you actually put in one of these pockets? That's always what people want to know. Well, first of all, I want to tell you, the nice thing about the vertical double is if things are a little bit too long, like these stickers, you can leave them sticking out, right? And this is just the label on the sticker, so it doesn't matter if it gets beat up a little bit. You're not actually damaging the product at all. So in this situation, I have the flap tucked behind everything, so it's easy to pull in and out. And how many things am I going to be able to pull in and out of this pocket? Let's count them. So this is a three-dimensional sticker. And one of the things about three-dimensional stickers is that you want to leave them somewhat in the packaging so they don't get hung up on other things as you're sliding them in and out of your scrap rack pages. So what I did was just cut the top off the package and that left this open and it's really thin so it doesn't take up very much space but it's going to protect those dimensional stickers. Let's start counting. One, wait a minute, I'm going to stop again counting. Chipboard stickers. I should tell you the variety of things that are in here. These are epoxy stickers. Basic stickers, more chipboard stickers, two sheets of basic stickers, cardstock stickers, epoxy stickers, cardstock, cardstock, cardstock stickers, and two more set sheets of stickers. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14 sets of 6 by 12 stickers in just one pocket. Do I recommend that you put 14 stickers in just one pocket? Not really. I think somewhere in the neighborhood of 4 to 6 items in a pocket is, help, is a good use of space and also not so cumbersome to dig through, especially in this long, tall pocket. You can't kind of filter through those things. It is crystal clear, so when you put them in the pocket, you can put one thing facing forward and one thing facing backwards, and then you'll be able to see at least two things. You can put 14 things in the pocket. I'm going to recommend that you put somewhere between four and six things in each pocket. Now, there are people who only put two things, one facing forward and one facing backward. Totally personal preference. Uh, one of the things about the scrap rack is that you can put a lot of products in a small amount of space. So if you're maximizing that pocket space with four or six items, you're going to be able to put a lot more stuff in a much smaller amount of space than if you're um, putting just one or two things in each pocket. But it is personal preference. In this other pocket, I have these other stickers. And this is like three, uh, piece, three sticker sheets. Well, five, I guess, because they're double-sided. Um, in a package, and I just was able to slide that whole package in there. Now, once I open the package and start using them, I'll probably move them into a smaller page, but it was convenient to pop it in there now because it's still easy to pull in and out of that. Okay, let me get back to my sample here. Now, none of the pages come with black lines on them. You can see they're all clear, right? I just drew the black lines so it would be easier for you to see that pocket configuration um, while I was demonstrating. One of the things that we use quite often with our pockets is our, our, is our, our, our shut your flap tabs. And they come in two different 
uh, packages like this. So these are the small shut your flap tabs. I'm going to pop one off here. They're not designed to be super sticky. They're not designed to work like tape to hold your flap closed. What they're designed to do is to add a little bit of weight so when you open that, um, pot, that flap, and it, it's going to drop back closed every time. It's going to be a little bit sticky, but the other big benefit to this is it's hard to see the flaps, right? So it's hard to open them. So by, you'll be able to grab that little colored piece, and that's going to lift that flap open. So whether you're lifting it open to load the page or pull something out of the page, the shut your flap tab, maybe we should call it the open your flap tab, is going to work um, to help you open it and also to keep that flap shut. Now, with the tabs, the sticky stuff doesn't go the whole length of the white. So if you're trying to get some stickiness on there with the little guys, you got to make sure you put the flap all the way down so it has some sticky, I mean the tag all the way down so it has some stickiness on the flap and some stickiness on the page as well. Okay, that is our um, vertical double, two pockets, uh, six and a quarter by 12 and a half inches long, comes in a package of 10. The skew on this is the P80.